100 of the best science fiction movies podcast. Man, uh, it's me, your boy C, the host of most of the things here on the Popperga Network, man, uh, movie review network that we got going on here. If you are new to these parts of Popperga, this is the second time. This is the second outing in the 100 series. If you remember, we uh, did in 2020 the hellscape of a year that was. We did 100 for 100 of the 100 movies that I think every new movie watcher should have watched at least once. We are back. Two years later to do the 100 Greatest Science Fiction Movies podcast. One a day for the first 100 days of the year 2022. Happy New Year! If you were listening to this, the day goes up, man. Hopefully, uh, stick with me for the next 100 days on this journey as we count down from 100 to 1. What I think to be the best science fiction movies of all time. So, what's going to go into this, man? Uh, There's a couple of... Couple little bits of criteria I put in here. I decided no kaiju movies, therefore no Godzilla, no King Kong will be in here. No superheroes will be in here uh, as well. I don't care what you say, man. Uh, Super Soldier Serum, that shit science fiction. (laughs) But yet, Captain America nor Guardians of the Galaxy will find their way here. Uh, Star Wars and Star Trek will be equally represented as well. I think we do have a good handful of both of those, so you can see those sprinkled throughout. But, man, let us, without further ado, really get into what's going on here for t- 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 today. The first one, man, the, the one that kicks us all off on January 1st at number 100. It's Flash Gordon. Whoa! Master of the Universe. That's right, man. We're starting this bad boy off with Flash Gordon, a 1980 movie directed by Mike Hodges out there, man. He'll save every one of us. A football player and his friends travel to the planet Mungo and find themselves fighting the tyrant Ming the Merciless to save Earth. Man! Flash Gordon Man stars uh, who else? Sam Jones, Flash Gordon, Melody Anderson as Dale Arden, Max von Sido as the Emperor Ming. Also, uh, Topol in that movie as well. Timothy Dalton, Brian Blessed, Peter Wingard. Man, listen, this movie was that business back when it first came out. Um, and I hadn't watched it for years. Uh, I'd seen little bits and pieces here and there, but I finally watched it in full. Not too long ago, as a matter of fact, at the time of this recording. And Flash Gordon is such a fun, fun movie. Uh, It's one of those movies that came out of, like, the boom that was Star Wars, right? Like, Star Wars came out and hit big. Everybody knew that it had, like, almost no budget to it. And yet it was gangbusters at the box office. So everybody was, like, scraped together. Your best cheap ass ideas will make these shits on the cheap and will make out like gangbusters. And that's not what happened at all. But it did give us a couple, a couple, a handful of decent movies. Flash Gordon being one of them. I also think, not on this list, but Krull also. Wow, I'm not sure what year Krull came out. I'm pretty sure that was after Star Wars. That was also influenced by. But man, Flash Gordon is one of those joints that's just like it's fun to watch, man. Uh, it's far as i know sam jones didn't do much else besides this like he he just is flash gordon he goes up to conventions uh specifically to promote flash gordon it's just a fun movie i think the 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 kernel that lies at the heart of flash gordon is the is the earnestness of the character of flash gordon and it's a film that doesn't take itself too seriously i think and that's part of the fun of it like I think at the heart of Flash Gordon, it's like, listen, we're just going to give you a fun romp space adventure. Why don't you come along for the ride? And you were all in on the ride, with the exception of Timothy Dalton, who just plays it straight down the middle. (laughs) Tim Dalton's like, you want me to do what? Fine, I'm showing up, and I'm not playing into it. Uh, Max Von Sado, man, you know, Ming the Merciless as uh, as a villain has been problematic over history. This is based off of the Flash Gordon serials, um, in which Ming has not been... Uh, kindly portrayed, definitely a product of the yellow fever, the yellow scare of uh, the, you know the negative reinforcements of Asian Americans on uh, of of the the burgeoning society that was the United States. But uh, the way Max von Sydow plays it here is just so 
I'm not going to say hammy. He's enjoying himself playing this villain with the with the ridiculous droopy mustaches and all that. I think Ming goes down as is one of the better B movie villains that we have out there, and Flash Gordon goes down as one of the better B movie sci fi joints that we've gotten over the years, man. So, kicking this bad boy off, number one hundred on the one hundred greatest sci fi list, Flash Gordon. We'll be back, man. We'll be back. 24 hours from now with our number 99 and we're going to keep this rolling like i said for the first 100 days of 2022 so stay tuned man hope you join this ride with me all the way out to the end uh let me know what you think about flash gordon man we will have a discussion up there on the, in the paprika facebook group facebook.com slash groups slash paprika p-o-p-r-i-k-a podcast request to join the group and you can get in on all the discussions flash gordon and uh, you know included so we'll be back tomorrow with number 99 until then you all take it easy and have a good one